Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to update data in a CSV using a batch script. So currently we have added data to a CSV. We created a CSV file and then added data to it in this app.sh file and after that we read all the data from that CSV using read.bash script and then we read the uh, single record from that CSV using read-single.sh. So in this video, we will be uh, updating data in this data.csv file using a basic script. So let's get into it. So for that I will create another file. Let's call it update.sh and here we will do the same thing as we did in the uh, read single.sh but instead of just writing that to the terminal we will update data uh, uh, update that data in a CSV. So what we are going to be doing is uh, we will be asking for to, to enter the employee name and once you enter the employee name we will find that and like we will um, ask another question like uh, at enter the updated name we can uh, update the age Oops, uh, update the age so we can do something like enter the we can say like let's say I want to update the age in that CSV so if I check the CSV you can see we have name at age and address so let's say I want to find the specific uh, employee and then update its edge using a bash script so that is what we, we can do with this script so we can ask like uh, enter updated edge for we can print the employee name as well so this is going to be instead of address this is going to be name so mm, input name and then we will print this to the terminal so that is going to be like user friendly so and then we will ask to uh, enter the edge so that is input update we can call this updated underscore edge and then here as you see we are uh, reading through all the um, records in that csv and if the uh, name matches instead of address we can uh, set this to name because we are searching using the name so once we find that, we will be updating instead of printing that to a terminal, we will be updating that user. And if it doesn't match, we will be storing their data as it is. And another thing is, uh, in, uh, in order to update data in this CSV, first we will be storing their data in another temporary CSV file. And once all the data is written to that CSV, after that we will be uh, writing that data to the data.csv file. So let's create a variable. Let's call it uh, temp underscore csv and set this to temp.csv file uh, we can do something like if it doesn't exist then create it so if i go to air.sh here we have the uh, expression if the file doesn't exist then go ahead and create it there so the csv underscore file is already there so uh, you just need to set this condition for the temporary file and touch the temporary file and we can add the headers as well or we can leave it as it is let's add it now we have the mm, we have the temporary file so we can add the data to it so in order to add data to that csv as we uh, did before this we can do something like i think we need the uh, headers so let's leave the headers as it, as it is and here we will be adding these data so first thing will be the name then edge and then address but as you can see here instead of this edge we want the uh, updated edge to be uh, to be stored in the temporary csv and after that we will be storing that in the original csv file and if that is not the case then we will add an else condition um, where we will be storing the um, the, the data as it is so instead of input edge we can just type edge and then instead of fronting this to the terminal we will be storing this to the temp underscore csv variable which has temp temp.csv file and we will be appending this because uh, we already have the headers and um, append this to the dead csv as well so once that is done um, it will close that um, read data from there and once this is done uh, let's leave it as it is and test if that is going to work or not so what are go we are doing is if the uh, temporary csv file doesn't exist then go ahead and create it and add the headers and ask user to enter the employee name and based on that employee name 
we will be asking this is the variable so we will be asking to enter the updated age for that user and once that uh, name is found in our csv we will be updating the uh, the, mm, the input age that we enter right here so we instead of the uh, existing age we will be storing this age that is entered by the uh, command line from user side so now let's test this we will see like the csv uh, temporary csv file will be created and it will have the updated data and after that we will be writing that data to the original csv and deleting the temporary file so let's test it here we have the update.sh file so dash and update.sh let's say we have ali and updated as what is the current age it is 45 so let's set this to 50 and if i go to this file here we added the headers two times so let's remove the csv and here we are adding double headers so i will remove this one and if i execute the same, same script again like uh, if i enter i and age is uh, 50 and if i go back and check the temp underscore csv file as you can see the age is now updated to 50 and currently it was 45 so now we have the updated data so we can write this to that um, data.csv file so in order to add that data to the original file we can do something like get the temp csv and write this to the original csv that is csv underscore file and update that um, remove rm I think that is rm let's test it so rm temp csv and it will be gone yeah so we can use rm and then the temp underscore csv and that is it so we are writing the temporary csv data to the original csv and we're writing the existing data so currently as you can see we have h45 so if i execute the script again where is it bash update.sh the name is ali and the edge is uh, let's say 55 and if i get the data.csv here we have the 50 part edge update now the same thing we can do for others um, so here in the update.csv we just did this for the you know, edge so we can do this for the name we can do this for the what is it called the address as well so as I mentioned before for the address you must pass the term expressions uh, in this uh, double quote regards and the address might have spaces so as uh, we as we saw both that issue in the in this file if we didn't pass the quotes it will throw an error and uh, because it has spaces so um, here you, you will have to make sure that the input is, that is coming from the user does not have spaces so I think that is it for this video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.